everyone welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel for a second review of episode two of lady woodist atlanta so today as i just said we're going to go ahead and talk about uh yesterday's episode um and what happened there so it started really well with b simon who is like a social media uh, instagrammer you know personality and uh, she's looking for an apartment so she's uh, walking through a, con a condo in Atlanta with uh, Kira who is one of the real estate agents on the show um, and apparently so she basically been looking for a house with her boyfriend I think she was dating a football player but it didn't work between the two of them and so she's looking for something smaller with like low maintenance and i think that's actually a very good idea um in atlanta i know that prices like everywhere else have been increasing like crazy and i think that you know in the future is gonna one of the best mood would be to get like a condo or a town home especially if you're like looking into investment i think that's like a pretty good you know idea or something to think about and in her case since she's since she's single and she probably travels a lot she probably doesn't want to have she said she doesn't want to have to deal with the maintenance which i think makes a lot of sense and then so we see her you know visiting the condo with kira and then um at some point uh they're trying to figure out where the the east and west side is i thought that was so funny because i remember watching another real estate show but it was like a french real estate show and in that show the real estate agent they knew like all the deeds and they were very good with like their direction so i was i always wondered like is it part of like being a real estate agent to know you like okay this this is facing west this is facing east i thought that was fascinating so whenever i saw that Kira didn't know about that. I was wondering, is that a thing? Or it was just on that show? And it was a show on Netflix. I forgot the name. I think it's called The Agency. And it's located. Yeah. Uh, so that that was like, you know, a little funny moment between the two of them. And uh, yeah, they visited it. And she, I don't think she really liked the condo. I think it was because even though the view was really nice in the living room area, uh, the bedroom, like in the bath master, and, like the closet, were really small for her. So they deducted at the end that they were going to look into. Um, they would look for more condo and try to visit more. Uh, then the next scene was Kira. So it started with her, you know, pretty slow, giving her, giving us more background on her. Uh, and I mean, you know, and she's the one that actually went viral because she posted a picture of herself in the swimming pool and stuff so yeah she's the she's the one and um we see her she explained to us that she recently lost a house so her house burnt down and it was like completely burned down she explained the situation and i mean that was really sad to see um i've never been in this type of situation where i lost all my belonging in a burn in you know in a fire accident but i can imagine it being very traumatizing because it's like everything that belongs to you is lost basically so that's really um sad and i felt sad for her um thankfully she probably has insurance i mean her being a real estate agent i'm pretty sure that they're going to work in rebuilding at least so yeah and then i think the next scene was with tiffany and uh, a kid, so basically Tiffany, she's the other uh, at lawyer, uh, closing attorney. And I know she was initially mentioned by Kristen, whenever Kristen was talking with Robin about the idea of opening a mega brokerage. Um, and basically Kristen mentioning that the two of them had basically not some not not that they are in competition but basically they're both you know attorney so they're basically working in the same you know environment so yeah they are competition really so we see her and we get we're getting more background on her which we didn't get the first time on the first episode so we see her a little bit with her family we see her teaching 
uh, sun out to dry. I thought that was hilarious. I remember whenever I first came to America and my uncle told me how to drive, it was a hot mess. And my ass was 18 years old, but I remember that time and it was a lot of screaming going on. So that brought up a lot of memories for me. And uh, yeah, so she also is explaining that she's been, you know, struggling with anxiety, uh, which is mostly due to, you know, her being very busy between being a mother, a wife, and an attorney. So I think at some point she probably had some, she said she had some issues around it. So yeah, so she discussed that and that allowed us to get a little bit more background on that. The next scene we have Kiana talking with her husband. So she's introducing us to her husband. I mean, the whole, the whole scene was fabulous. I mean, she's in her own home, doing what she's doing. Then she's leaving the house, uh, leaving her office, coming into the kitchen, and they have a cook, you know. I mean, the whole thing was just fabulous. I mean, I love it, you know. I. I mean, it was, it was nice, you know, and then she introduced us to her husband and we see them talking and she's mentioning the situation with um, Robin uh, where, so the contract situation where she was not, she, when, she, when Robin was asking her for, uh, I think it was $600 per contract and she thought that was a big amount of money and she, she thought they basically had a better relationship than that and she doesn't understand why Robin felt the need to overcharge her that way and once again as I mentioned in my previous video after doing my research I realized that um, after doing my research and going into Kiana Instagram she clarified that it's not that she had an issue with being charged it was the amount being that Robin was asking that was way too high um so yeah, so she's talking about it with her husband and her husband seems to be you know, basically telling her that there needs to be a conversation about it, you know, but trying to be cool about it and, you know, trying to find a way uh, how they could find an arrangement on the situation. Um, but Kiana did make it clear that she is not interested in collaborating with Robin, but she's still going to go to the brunch that she's invited to so um they can so they can come to an agreement i mean at least that she can hear what she has to what robin has to say and um so the next scene we have the ladies i think it was tiffany and kira and the other ladies meeting and i felt at the beginning i felt during the show that they were it was building it was a build up to the brunch and uh, I felt that the ladies in general did not seem like they were looking forward to it. Some of them were, were curious, but I could see how they were, there was a build-up to the brunch. And without, I feel like even if you haven't seen what would happen in the, what would happen in the show, like in the preview, you could easily understand that this branch probably will not go positively because the way the build up about it we had kiana that was already sure that she doesn't want to um, collaborate with robin on anything but she's really just going there to listen to what robin has to say which in my opinion is really because it's the show so they have to find a way to all be together in the same place so that they can shoot and then you have Kira who is explaining that she's not really familiar with Robin and Kristen, but they unfollowed her on Instagram. And uh, initially when she's mentioning it, she seemed curious about it, but I didn't feel like she was being, oh, I don't like her because she unfollowed me, but it was more of a, she unfollowed me on Instagram. I don't really know her like that, but I'm curious to, to, to know what she wants. That's my first impression that I had. And um, whenever it led up to the show, I felt, uh, to the show, to the brunch, I felt that the ladies all came and um, we, we see them, you know, saying hi and 
Robin was anxious, but she came, I think, with the good, with the right energy. She was like, oh, everybody's looking beautiful, really coming on the right energy, which I thought was really good. And uh, from there on, we had Kiana basically explaining why she doesn't want to collaborate with Robin and explaining that she felt that it was a livelihood that was in question whenever she was opening the brokerage and that she has did not expect Robin to act the way she acted with her. And Robin was um, saying basically, okay, well, I mean, she did give her an apology, but Kiana didn't feel that it was a sincere apology because it was more of a, okay, I apologize, let's move on. And for Kiana, it was like, no. It, it, she felt like, I think that Kiana felt that she just wanted to apologize so that they could move on to the next thing and talk about the collaboration between the both of them. I mean, the group. And um, then at some point, Kier, Robin and Kira, Kira is explaining the situation with the Instagram thing. And then Robin is trying to explain to her why that happened. And that did not, that wasn't well received from Kira. Kira did not believe her. And um, from there, I feel like it escalated, you know, and that's where I kind of like got a little lost with Kira. I felt like, okay, she had followed you on Instagram. I understand that Instagram is you know social media it helps a lot of people to get exposure and marketing and clients she did not fo follow you she stopped following you yeah you're gonna ask yourself the question you stopped following me so what's going on but i felt like whenever she started mentioning the age and um that part i kind of felt like okay she had followed you on instagram she gave you the reasoning she told you exactly why she had followed you on instagram and you didn't believe it you have the right to not believe her but she's giving you a reason right you do not know her maybe that's why you know maybe there's more background than you than i know that us the viewer knows but as far as i'm concerned I don't feel like that should have gone. I, I, shouldn't, I don't think that should have escalated. And at that point, I started to feel like when you're in a situation and there's a lot of people that are here with you and you're trying to pitch them something and you took the courage to bring them all together, probably knowing that you, you and the ladies don't really... You're not really, you don't really have a relationship outside of pro professional and even professional life, like they're like your competitor. So, taking the courage to bring them together and pitching your idea, and then each person is basically telling you why, why they're having an issue with you. I can understand at that moment why Robin felt ganged up on felt attacked because Kiana explained what bothered her, then Kira did, you know, and then it escalated. From then, from that point, I felt that, as Kiana said, certain discussion could have been done privately or at least on a one-on-one -on -one basis rather than within the group. I felt that they could have come and listened to the idea that Robin had, give their opinion or not give one if they don't want to and go think about it, you know, move on. And then if they are interested, talk about it and see what can be done. But in that instances, Kiana started, okay, Kiana made it clear from the beginning to us that she was not trying to collaborate with her. But at least when she went to the meeting, she at least told her what she think is wrong, what she thinks went wrong between the two of them and why she doesn't want to collaborate with her. 
in the contrary Kira was just focused on the whole social media thing and I understand how social media is important but does it need to get to that point right that's the question I'm I'm curious to know what you all think feel free to leave me some comments and we can have a discussion and go from there and then in the meantime, when all of this was happening, we had Miss Crystal, who is supposed to be Robin's friend. Granted, at the end of the last episode, they were not on good terms. But still, she's your friend. She made sure to thank you at the beginning of the meeting for making the phone calls and bringing the ladies together so that you can pitch your idea to them. So... Robin did not come to this meeting trying to be a problem with Crystal. But what I've noticed was when all the other ladies were speaking, Crystal were interjecting. And I think that was annoying Robin. And when your friend does things like that, it would annoy you more than if it's someone you're not close to. Because... The discussion, first of all, each lady is in there can express themselves. They do not need you to clarify anything. I feel like Kiana was express, communicating really well, Kira the same. So it was not necessary for you to come and play the devil's advocate, if I may say so. You could have just been quiet. You know, you could have just been quiet. Listen to the discussion that really has nothing to do with you. Well, outside of the Kira situation, because both her and Robin stopped following her on Instagram. But in the situation with Kiana, that wasn't necessary. You could have just shut up. Like, why do you need to talk? Like, you could have just listen, be a friend, and at the end of the discussion, take Robin on the side and talk to her. You didn't need to interject. And here's the thing. You know Robin more than we know. She's your friend. And from the very few things I've seen on episode one, she, she can get riled up pretty fast, pretty quickly. So you should know what would piss her off. And I think you do. And because you knew what to do, you did it to annoy her and it worked and then she got really pissed i am not saying that robin sh should have got excited the way she got excited that was way over the top like girl like what are you doing they're against you they well they're not against you but they don't like you they each of each of them have their grievance against you You need to know to take the heat without having to escalate things to a point where it gets violent. Because for some of us that saw the preview, we saw her getting close to Crystal and almost wanting to beat her up. And I'm, that was not necessary, girl. Like you're a grown-ass woman, you have two kids. Nah, you don't need to do that. And especially with someone of your stature in your professional life, you're on TV, do you, I mean, I know we like drama, but I just didn't think you needed as annoyed and as angry you could have been at Crystal. I think you need to work on those, on, 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 on having more self-control. And she did explain at the beginning of the episode two also, she gave a little bit more background on where she's coming from. She didn't even really say what her issue is. All we know is that she's gone through some hardship and it obviously still have a big impact on her. I understand that. But people are not always going to um, feel sorry for you. Especially when financially you've been able to overcome certain situations. And because you are getting older. And one thing I've realized is that a lot of people, they will accept a lot of things when younger people do it but when you get to a certain age there's higher expectation from you 
and for a lady that I can easily gather that she's at least over 30 years old, that is not the type of comport of behavior that she should have had. But I do understand why she got around her, but it, it was just too much. So I do think that Robin needs to work on the self-control. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. But Kristen, I'm looking at you sideways. I'm like, hmm, you're not really acting like a friend right now. You're not. You should have stayed quiet. Honestly, you should have stayed quiet and take your friend on the side. Or you know what? You could have taken your friend on the side, tried to calm her down in the intimacy of your friendship without people being there and looking at you because now you made it very clear that you do not have her back and that's how she felt and it, that's probably one of the reasons why she got so mad i'm wondering why they cut the part like why would you show a preview of robin basically being a little vi being violent with Kristen and then you're not showing in the main episode is that going to be on episode three or what i don't really know what's going on but i'm curious about that i know it's own and it used to be oprah channel is it still oprah channel i'm not sure but you know you know the drift so yeah you're not about violence and stuff and what's the point of showing the preview you know like if you're going to show it in the preview you might as well show it on the show so we'll see at the end of episode three but i expected to see the whole thing um so yeah guys uh, i'm going to make it short uh it started very slow it started still with introduction of the ladies kiana giving her more background on herself tiffany kira uh and even robin they gave us more background that was really good and then it picked up so it's starting to pick up um We'll see what's going to happen on episode three. I mean, we're still here. So, um, yeah. So let me know what you thought. Uh, feel free to come and engage with me and I'll be responding and, you know, talk about what you think. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know what other people are thinking. Honestly, I feel that Crystal did not need to do what she did, did but at the same time, Robin really went far. And also, I do think that there's a little something going on based on the previews with Tiffany. I feel like Tiffany does not really see it for, Ruby, for Crystal. She did explain that whenever she was pregnant, Crystal reached out to her and basically, I think, tried to take her clients or something. Ciao. We should see. We shall see. We shall see what's going to happen next. But I kind of see some drama happening between the two ladies um and yeah i do think that um that wasn't a friendly behavior crystal that, that wasn't that wasn't friendly you know especially when you you know how your friend is you know when you know when your friend is you could have you know be quiet but that's just me Okay, guys, so it was really nice talking to y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.